Greetings and welcome to Lizard Creations. Today I'm going to show you what I use to do pyrographics and burn Lichtenberg patterns into wood. I'm going to go over each of the components and explain what they're for and how I use them. My system consists of five key components. I have a primary power switch, a distribution box, a variac transformer to control voltage, a high voltage transformer, and my probes which are at the far end of the table. My primary distribution box has to be plugged in to provide power to the whole system. This switch is a push button normally open switch. It only makes contact when it's pushed in. It has a ring around the outside so if you put pressure on it will not close the contact. You have to use a finger to close the switch. Now this switch is only rated for 8 amps and the Variac and the other components need a higher current. So this switch controls a contactor within this box and that closes the circuit for the whole system. And once this is pressed, the whole system will have power. When this button is pressed, it closes the contactor inside this box which then feeds power to this receptacle. This receptacle will then feed power in through to the Variac Transformer. The Variac Transformer has an on-off switch, which I typically leave in the off position, and this is the control unit for the Variac. So by turning this, I can control the voltage that's being generated out towards the probes. The Variac will have an output here, which feeds into this receptacle. This receptacle has a special plug on it. It uses a 20 amp, uh, 20 amp, 125 volt plug, which has a very distinct pattern to it. It cannot be plugged into a regular wall outlet. This is what drives the high voltage transformer. The power comes from this receptacle to the high voltage transformer through a switch. The high voltage transformer feeds voltage to the probes through 12 gauge stranded wire. Normally I have this facing the other way so I'm not facing any components that are accessible in the high voltage transformer and by having it turned the other way I will not make contact with these components. This is the normal configuration that I typically use when I'm doing the actual burning. This way the transformer is facing away from me. My electrodes are 4 inch spike nails that have wires soldered to the tops of them. My electrodes are mounted on 2 foot plastic pipes. The wiring to the electrodes runs through the pipe, comes out the end and they're soldered to the end of a 4 inch spike. These are mounted on 2x4s. It's to give the electrode stability. That way I can move the electrode and let it sit and I don't have to have any contact with the electrode or the mounts for it at all while I'm actually turning the voltage on and powering the system up. Before I start my pyrography, I always clean my tips with a little bit of sandpaper. The reason for that is to enhance conductivity. It doesn't take a great deal of time. And while I do it, I always make sure that the system is unplugged. That way I know I'm safe. The reason that I clean my electrodes is to enhance conductivity so there's no resin buildup on the tips creating a barrier for the voltage. Before I start the pyrography I always put rubber gloves on as an added insulator. When I'm ready to start doing the pyrography I'll use a foam brush with a plastic handle and I will apply some moisture to the area I want to do the burn. The solution I use is baking soda and water. The next step is to go to the far end and start applying power. The first step of the process is to turn the voltage down on the Variac, turn the power on on the Variac, turn the power on on the transformer, there's still no power to the circuit because this button here is what controls all the power everywhere. Now I can push this button in, the unit is obviously plugged in, and I can start turning up the voltage and you can see the burn start on the far end. Now I am four feet away from this burn where the electrodes are so I have lots of clearance and safety between me and the actual electrodes. I can then control the power of that burn. I can turn the Variac up 
and have a much faster burn, or I can turn it down and do a very slow burn. One of the things that you should also consider is ventilation. You don't want to do this in a closed room. It produces a fair amount of smoke. One of the advantages of having the long probes is I can move them at a safe distance. I am not near the electrodes at all. And I can change their position, holding on to the plastic, no contact with any electrodes. I have the voltage turned back down, I push my power button, and I turn the voltage back up. And I'm going to do a slow burn here. My preference is the slow burn. It seems to provide far more detail. If you'd like to see how I do Lichtenberg pyrography on a bowl, please check out my Lichtenberg pyrography on ash and grain bowl video. I hope you've enjoyed this video, and if you have intentions of doing Lichtenberg patterns or wood burning with high voltage, I hope it has provided you with some ideas on how to do it safer. As per the standard format of my videos, it's now time to showcase two of my wife's paintings. Have a great day! My wife's first painting is called Bonsai Sunrise. It's a Lichtenberg pattern burnt into wood and then she applies watercolor paint to it. Her second painting is called Goat's Meal and she also did that in a watercolor as well. If you want to check out our website, you can see many more of her paintings. Mm -hmm.